Hello there folks and welcome to a Metatrails video review of Chat Chat, an MMO where you get to be a cat. Sounds good. I like cats. Um, I wish I had a pet cat. I don't, sadly. Uh, you can email them to me at uh, sendala at uh, metatrails.com. Alright, let's get started. Uh, click to start. My name is going to be Sendala, if that makes sense. Uh, okay, we have to choose a room to start with. We can refresh the list or we can create a room. Uh, if we create a room, that sounds like it'll be a bit boring because it'll just be us. So, let's go for the Kotaku room. Uh, Alright, here I am. Sandala has entered the game. So I'm a little brown cat. Um, I tried some recordings earlier on and I've, I was a little white cat. So I was under the impression that uh, the text you chose for your name decided what colour you are. Uh, turns out it might be quite random. So, um, Metatrails is uh, a website about um, <laughs> someone flailing there. Okay, so Metatrails is a website about um, my trails and my uh, experiences in the meta, um, as defined as the internet. Um, and I thought this would be a, a cute little one to start with because it's it's not it's not that big it's not that involved. You are a cat. The instructions are, be a cat. Uh, sounds simple enough. So, let's get started. Uh, we're at the house at the moment. The objective of the MMO. Uh, there is no experience. There is no leveling up. There is no killing of mobs that I have found yet. The <coughs> whole the whole idea is to find a mouse, and bring it back to this objective here, for your loving owner who will. <coughs> no doubt appreciate your uh, your kindness at bringing the present home when it stopped wriggling. So, uh, let's go out and see if we can find a mouse. Uh, let's follow this kitty seven here, or seventy. Um, okay, we're in caves. There's about there's about four or five uh, different themed areas. I think there's caves, there's like a mushroomy type kingdom, there's a forest, there's a back alley. Um, I can't think of another one right now. But um, there's there's a couple of areas. There's about three or four screens in each area. It's not it's not that big, um, <coughs> and you basically wander around trying to find mice. Um, okay, so this guy's sitting on this question mark here. Can I? Uh, I can't look at it just now. Basically, question mark gives you hints and tips. I think this one's kind of um, you can do slash me commands to uh, to do things. So you know slash me sits and yowls would put a little oh actually I'll just do it slash me yowls and then I get send all the yowls and I, I don't know if everyone on the server can see that or if that's just us but uh, yeah. seeing it's in brown because I'm a I'm a brown kitty which is great uh, cat sir has just raved um, so you, you get you get the general gist you can you can communicate what you what you are doing with other people so uh, let's continue oh, treasure chest as I understand, this is unopened, so we're not going to spend uh, time trying to open the treasure chest. <coughs> oh, stop standing on things when I'm trying to... Okay, so basically that's a... Well, you can see as Alex Kitty has been standing on that, it's... Uh, I found the treasure! I found the treasure! I found the treasure! So we're not going to bother doing that. It just says Sendala has found the treasure. Uh, let's go up this way. Okay, so now we're in the back alleys and there's trash cans, which I don't think you can interact with. There's really not a lot that you can interact with. Um, in this game, you just run around. They're just kind of, you know, um, scenery. Um, let's go over here. Oh, okay, here we go. Let's demonstrate. All right, so you can try purr and screech. So slash purr. So you get little animations there as well. Slash screech. I might go to the house and just screech outside the house later on. Um. <clears throat> so there's no mice here. Oh, we're in the forest now. Excellent. There is actually a tree. I don't know if it comes and goes. Oh, there we go. Meow, meow, meow. Um. Ah, oh, no! Ah, oh, my mouse! Curse you, petite cat! Petite chat! Um. I'm gonna chase that cat in case it finds another one. Um. Alright. <clears throat> but yeah, okay, so I nearly had a mouse. I could have nearly showed you how that worked. Um. See, score of three. So Petite Chat has been on this server and... Oh! Yeah! And has a score of three. So I've got I've just got mouse, so I'm gonna head back to the house now and deposit my mouse for my loving owner, who will appreciate my... <coughs> excuse me, I've got a bit of a clogged up throat at the minute. I will uh, deposit my, my mouse. 
There we go. Love me, owner person, I brought you a mouse. As far as I'm aware, you can't get inside this building, which is a shame, because that's actually what I thought you had to do to start with. But it turns out this area is called the house. So you can see at the bottom there, Sendala entered the house. So this area is the house, technically. So down here, there's a very interesting place, but as you'll find in most MMOs, um, if people can troll, they will troll. And of course, uh, that guy's actually called himself Catwall. You can see there. Goober Cat and Catwall have napped right in front of the path. So nobody can get down this way, which is really quite inconvenient. Um, but you'll find that on uh, in any MMO that you play. If people can inconvenience other people, there will be people doing it. So <coughs> let's not let that bother us too much as we continue to... Oh! Oh! What's going on here? Secret place. I have entered the dog altar. Right, I've never actually found this before. I wondered how people became dogs. I'm wondering if this has something to do with it. Ooh, can I can I interact with it somehow? Can I slash meow at the at the dog altar? If I can type properly. No. Oh, I don't know what to do with the dog altar. This is a bit rubbish. Um. Yow? No? Oh well. We'll leave that for now. Um. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the game. You find mice, you take mice home. Um. You grumble at people who are trolls. You can, uh, you can slash nap. And then, as I assume, I assume that makes me a block and nobody can run through me because that's what was happening at the house. Uh, then you wake up and you go and do some more things and you try and find mice and that's pretty much all there is to it. I guess in terms of whether or not it's a good MMO, um, you know, there's no there's no leveling. I'm I'm a fan of disconnecting the mechanics from the social aspects of an MMO because I think if you've got a big MMO world, you should be able to interact in that world without the need. Like if I say World of Warcraft, uh, I'm going to keep coming back to this because it was. I'm I'm a six-year veteran of World of Warcraft. If I decide I want to make an account of World of Warcraft, I've never played it before, and I go in, I want to join a guild, and I want to do all this stuff. I'm a firm believer in that I should be able to do all this stuff without leveling up the fun stuff, without leveling up. Um, I shouldn't I shouldn't have to do the quests and unlock things and. I mean I know that's there for the gameplay, and a lot of people enjoy that. Um. But I just think if I wanna if I wanna interact in the world and I wanna go and I wanna I guess I guess it's a it's a role play thing as well, isn't it really? You you wanna you wanna be the best at something. You've gotta work for it. I get that. But at the same time, if I wanna socially interact in that world, if I wanna give them my eight ninety nine a month, um, I should be able to ignore all the gameplay mechanics, should I so desire. And you know, it's it's not about the game, it's about the social interaction and the community and the community tools should be adequate for me to make make use of that world. Um for example in World of Warcraft an improvement that they could make would be uh guild housing. Um you know at the moment it's just kind of guild chat and they've got guild perks, but that's a gameplay mechanic. Um you know. So as far as that goes, uh, in this, there's not there's not a lot. There's not friends list, there's not guilds, there's not... I don't even think the characters are persistent. I, I don't know if, if I was to sign in to congregate, uh, which is where this... Uh, there'll be a link in the in the notes. Um, but in congregate, I don't know if I signed up for an account, I don't know if that would make my, my Sindala cat persistent. I've just been making a new one uh, every time. Um, but... That might happen. That might work. Um, but at the moment, as far as I can tell, there's no there's no persistence. I know that um, Terry Kavanaugh, the uh, the developer, is uh, if I pronounced his name right, hopefully, uh, he's he's considering uh, adding new features, um, which has been reported in a few of the uh, the gaming blogs and what have you. But I can't imagine what they'll be adding because uh, this seems fairly simple. It seems a pet pro like a pet project, really, um, which which is fine. Uh, you know, it's it's available for free. Um, but yeah, I, th I think I think it's a fun little distraction. Um, it has a simple gameplay mechanic. If you want to be the best mouse hunter in all of the world, though, you can't log off because it'll just wipe your score. Again, though, like I say, there's there's a high score tab here on Congregate, so maybe uh, 
hopefully it's not in one session because I think there's like hundreds of mice being caught so hopefully that's not in one session um, it maybe maybe stores a session or something um, that remembers what you've done but yeah I like it um, yeah it's 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 very simple um, if you were looking for a, for a community based MMO obviously I, I probably wouldn't go here but it's it is very simple um, it is very easy to get into Assuming you don't have trolls kicking about everywhere, you guys, um, you know, it's it's got potential. Um, definitely got potential. But yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed my, my little review of Chat Chat by uh, Terry Kovner. I believe he also made um, V, 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 I'm counting on my fingers, six Vs, um, an indie game. Uh, I, I believe this this started off as a London Dare project and uh, became a New Year's resolution, which is why I can't imagine it developing much further than this. It's not a money maker. It's kind of something he did in his spare time to work out networking. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully I'll do another video soon, and I'll see you guys next time.